So just talk about it. I'm half Native American. I am of the Tlaplaco tribe, which is part of the Muskogee Creek Nation, and half European. These are my parents in clay form. This represents some colors from our tribe, and obviously this looks like my dad, this looks like my mom. Growing up in a interracial marriage, my parents taught me to embrace both. I represent both. Go out and represent us well. In my mid-20s, we were in a church, a dominantly white congregation, and the senior pastor and his wife were both white as well. One of the older deacon wives I was in a conversation with one of the ladies that I was standing next to, and she began to talk about mixed children, how it wasn't their fault, and that they were a problem, that it was the parents who decided to marry outside of their race. It was their fault. The pastor's wife looked at me very genuinely and said, I don't even know why she would say that because we don't even think of you as Indian. We think of you as one of us. I just soaked that up. There wasn't a response that came out of me. There wasn't a, a facial expression. We carried on the conversation and I just embraced that. I can deal with cultural appropriation, especially with being Native American. You see a lot of that through sports and holidays. But what this pastor's wife said, it was, I was invisible. So you're not even recognizing who I am. You're just saying, we just think of you as one of us, and I'm supposed to see that as, that's so wonderful. I'm so glad that I'm no longer Native American. I don't have to deal with this. I get to be just like you. That conversation was probably the deepest that I could be hurt. And many Native Americans probably deal with the same thing. We don't feel like we exist many times. We're not just a history book character, or we're not a mascot, and you know, we're not a tomahawk chop at a football game or baseball game. We have so much more to offer. This is my mom and my dad, and this is me and my sister, full sisters, even though we look completely different. I have become more vocal about just sharing who I am through the relationships that I have. There's this mutual understanding of, I'm getting to know you, you're gonna get to know me. Then that allows me to kind of take those steps of, this also is what I stand for. This hurts when I hear this, or um, these things are issues that I struggle with, and we're able to come alongside each other. I see myself as just a whole, this is just Mariah. I'm from a mixed family, I'm biracial, and my children are biracial. I am a bridge builder.